Welcome. In this video, we will learn about indexing and slicing of NumPy arrays. Indexing is a way to refer to the individual items. That means we will learn that how we can refer to individual items in an array. In Python, objects are zero indexed. That means that the position counts always starts with zero. For example, if we have one dimensional array, here the array is 22, 3, 4, 77, 88, 66. Observe that the index of the first element that is 22 is zero. So the index always starts with zero. If you have two dimensional array, we have two indexes. One is column index, another is row index. So also these indexes start with zero. And whenever we are to refer to any element, we have to see the cross section of row index and column index. For example, element 22 will have index 0, 0. And element 4 will have index 0, 2. Let us understand this with the help of an example. We have to import NumPy to create a NumPy array. So what I do, I create a simple NumPy array with 10 elements. So I just take some random numbers over here. So I have took 10 random elements and I will print this array. So this produce an array of 10 elements in that. So whenever I want to refer to any element, so that means indexing, I just have to write the number of that element. Now this is going to print 25 for me. For your reference, I just print our array once again and I just print various elements over here. So I say 2. So if you look at this array, the index position of 25 is 0, 45 is 1 and 64 is 2. So when I run this, it prints 64. So this is how we can see the index of various elements of an array. So now I am going to create a two dimensional array. So I have created a two dimensional array. This is going to print a two dimensional array for me. So now if I want to refer to any element in this array, for example, I wanted to refer to 25, I have to write 0, 0. And when I press enter, it prints 25. If I wanted to refer this 77, in that case, here the row index is 1 and the column index is 2. So I have to write 1, 2. This is how we can refer to various elements using the index positions of those elements. One more thing I want to add over here, instead of comma, you can also write it like this. This will also work. Now, we will talk about slicing. Slicing in Python refers to the method to extract a part of a string, list, tuple or array. For example, you wanted a part of that array. 
how we can extract that we will learn about it now here we have for the one dimensional array we have three arguments one is the start next is stop and last is step so what you can do you have to tell that from where you want to begin this extraction so for example if i put two and then i put colon so what will happen it will start printing the array from the index position 2 here the index position 2 is 64 25 is 0 45 is 1 so it is 64 so when i run it it will print the array from the index position 64 similarly if i tell the ending position so you have to be very careful about it so i just put over here 5 okay so i run this so here i have 64 78 and 89 our index position over here this has 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 but 77 is not printed the reason being the end position 5 is not included so whenever you are referring and whenever you are writing this keep in mind the end position will not be included the last one is step so what this step do i just run it once so what will happen it will start from position number two then instead of going to one step ahead it will take two steps ahead that means 89 so when it does that the last position is 77 so only two values will be printed if i don't write over here anything so what it will do it will start from the index position 0 so first this will be printed then this will be printed then this will be printed so this is how we can print using the start stop and steps if i write it like this it will print my whole array if i put minus 1 over here it will print my array in the reverse position so what i am going to do is i am going to give it a starting position now so when i write 5 over here so again 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so it will begin with that position and similarly if i write 1 over here so this is 0 and 1 now again the end position 1 will not be included this is how we can slice or take out the part of a one dimensional array this is what we call slicing of one dimensional array now again i am going to convert my this array to a two dimensional array so what i will do i will write over here like this and this And this this is going to convert my one dimensional array to two dimensional array so now we will learn that how we can extract the values from this array so what we require as we did earlier we require two arguments so the first one refers to the row and second one refers to the column so first i use zero zero it has shown us only one element that is 25 which is on position 00, zero. i just wanted all the values from the third column so what i do i just write over here and just two over here 
that simply means that I just wanted all the rows that is 0 to 3 and I just wanted only one column. So column index is 2. So when I press enter, it just displays 64, 77 and 49. I can also write it like this and it will display me the same result. Reason being when I just put colon over there, that means I said that I have wanted all the values. I can also write it like this, 2 colon 3, right? So it will produce the same values, but this time the value will be a two dimensional array. If I don't write it, the value will be a one dimensional array. So this is how we can extract the data from two dimensional array. Now I wanted second and third row. So I will write one colon three. That means start from the first index and stop at third index. So third row three is not included. That means it is going to extract only two rows. So what I would now want, I just wanted one first and second column. So what I will do, I will say zero colon two. That means begin with the zero column and stop at second column, which is not included. So when I press enter, it is going to extract this data for you. This is how we can take out a part of a array. This is also called slicing of two dimensional array. So this is all about slicing. Thanks for now. See you in the next video.